foot and mouth disease. It is a more distinctive rash syndrome. If we talk about the etiology, first is Coxsackie virus infection. Strain will be A16. Sometimes larger outbreak are also seen due to this strain. Okay, and now also caused by enterovirus strain number 71. And other than these two, Coxsackie A virus strain number 5, 7, 9, and 10 are also involved. And Coxsackie B virus is strain number 2 and 5. And some eco viruses may also cause this disease. The hand foot mouth disease caused by enterovirus 71 is frequently more severe than Coxsackie virus A16 disease with high rates of neurologic and cardiopulmonary involvement. If we discuss about the OPD basis presentation of these patients, these patients are usually presented with mild illness with or without low grade fever and may be with reduced food intake or feeding. We can say anorexia and history of sore throat with rashes over the body. On examination of the patient, we will notice some lesions. These lesions are papulovesicular lesions. The lesions are presented on palm, sole and in oral cavity. The oropharynx is inflamed and contains scattered vesicles on the tongue, buccal mucosa, pharynx, but mostly stayed on anterior side, palate, gingiva, and lips. And these lesions are also distributed on the hand and fingers, feet, and buttocks, and groins. If we talk about the buttock lesions, these lesions do not usually progress to vesiculation. This disease is highly infectious and the peak incidence takes place in late summer. For the diagnostic purpose, we can use viral culture using a combination of cell lines is a gold standard for confirmation. The sensitivity range from 50 to 75 percent and can be increased by sampling of multiple sites. If we talk about the management part, the vesicles resolve in about one week itself. Supportive care is the mainstay of the treatment. We can use syrup PCM for the pain management and dental gels for the oral lesions. Now, for the prevention purpose, the first line of defense is hygiene, such as hand washing to prevent fecal, oral and respiratory spread within families, schools and institutional settings. Avoiding of sharing utensils and drinking containers and other potential formats and disinfection of contaminated surfaces. The treatment of drinking water and swimming pools may be important part. Okay, this is all about hand foot mouth disease.